Nestled in the heart of central Turkey, the Anatolian plain stretches for many thousands of square miles. The centre of this is Cappadocia, a truly astonishing place. In this short film, we will show you some of the amazing sights to be seen in Cappadocia and hopefully shed a little light on the mystery of how this amazing region was formed. 60 million years ago, the Taurus Alpine chain of mountains was formed. This process warped the Anatolian Plateau and formed the volcanoes of Erijes in the east and Hassan in the southwest. It took millions of years for the ash from these volcanoes to form a layer of tuff, a very soft volcanic stone. In some places this tuff was covered by a further layer of basalt lava. The basalt cracked and split under attack from the wind and rain. The natural effects of alternating very hot and very cold weather and the rain and the wind break down the rock's resistance and causes the emergence of tall cones of tuff capped by a hard basalt which the Turks call fairy chimneys. Where there is no basalt layer to protect the tuff, lovely valleys have been formed, connected to the plateau by steep canyons of andesite and basalt. The canyons of Soanli and Ilara are particularly stunning examples, Ilara Canyon being 650 feet deep in places. The valleys are sheltered and fertile with an almost temperate climate. The tuff is easily worked and for millennia has provided dwellings and storerooms both above and below ground for smallholders. Despite its increasing popularity with visitors, Cappadocia is very much home to small farmers who can still be seen every day tending their orchards, vineyards and field crops and riding their donkeys home to their cave houses. Here we see the open air museum at Gorome, famed the world over for its marvellous churches carved out of the tough rock. Nobody knows for certain who carved all the churches from the rock, but mostly they were probably carved by Christians escaping persecution from the Romans. And it wasn't only churches that were carved from the rocks. Vast underground cities like Derinkoyu would hold populations of 10,000. These subterranean towns were excavated by a populace seeking shelter from the conquerors and would-be conquerors who crisscrossed the wide open steppes of the central Anatolian plateau. Ancient Anatolian tribes, Assyrians, Hittites, Phrygians, Turkic tribes from Central Asia, Mongols, Persians, Syrians, Arabs, Kurds, Armenians, Slavs, Greeks, Romans and Western Europeans have all passed through leaving behind some of their traditions as well as their genes and rendering Cappadocians as exotic as their surreal surroundings. Today Cappadocia is becoming a popular tourist destination. The landscape offers surreal, exotic and truly outstanding natural scenery. There are many trips available for the visitor, not least the very famous balloon trips through the Lahara Valley. People can stay in houses which have been carved from the rock and are many hundreds if not thousands of years old. Inside the fairy chimneys you can sometimes see how people would have lived. In this example a fairy chimney has been converted into a small cafe. These fairy chimneys could be up to six stories high. We'll leave you now with this view from the top of Uchisar Castle, 
a 360 degree panorama across the whole Cappadocia region, truly breathtaking.